Hello, everyone. Um, oh, shit. Do I not have my glasses? I don't have my glasses. I got this prescription wrong on these, so I just keep them in my car unless, uh, in case of an emergency. And since I don't have my glasses, I can drive without them, but I'll need them for close-up. So, I have Pixie with me. Little baby Peggy. Say hi, Peggy. Um, last week, I think it was Wednesday. Oh, fuck, I don't have gas. Damn it. Oh. Gas. Last week, I think it was Wednesday. I fucking stepped on her. I didn't put my full weight on her. And I mean, <laughs> this Wednesday I'll have Pixie nine years. And yes, I have, I have stepped on her before, but I am, I've gotten really good about, you know, I don't fully step down and, <sighs> but I think I, uh, may have bruised or, um, oh God, broken a rib or something or bruised her. Um, she seemed fine when I picked her up afterwards. Like, I checked her. She's very dramatic because she knows if she's dramatic. Angle this better. She knows if she's dramatic, she'll get lots of attention. So, I immediately, when I heard her, I threw myself forward so I wouldn't put my all my weight on her. But I'm not going to lie. I put a decent amount of weight on her. And I, I was rushing, running, trying to... Um, anyways, I picked her up and, uh, she seemed fine. She was, you know, she seemed fine. I checked all her limbs. I pushed and prodded and she seemed fine. But the past couple days, um, when I will go to put her down and my hands like cupping under her ribs like this, uh, when I put her down, she kind of yelps. And the more that I uh, look at it or like I push on her ribs and stuff or it, it, I thought it was the right side, but I, it's, I, I'm pretty sure it's her left side. Um, that may be, I don't feel anything protruding. Um, um, maybe they're just bruised or maybe the tissue around it's bruised. I'm trying not to freak out. Ugh, couldn't come out of worse financial time, but I don't give a shit. She's number one in my life. Yeah, I love you. So, um, yeah, I'm off to the vet. Of course, they had no appointment, so I have to go in as a walk-in emergency which costs $40 more. <sighs> you know, life just fucking is testing me. I'll tell you, life is testing me. It always tests us, but I don't like it when it tests me with my little baby dogs or my dogs, any of my animals. Don't test me with my fucking animals. <sighs> it's just really stupid and not paying attention and running through the house trying to hurry up and get out the door for work. I'm supposed to uh, take some time off first week of July. Um, probably cut that in half so I can work. So I can pay for this vet bill. Um, if uh, if it's going to be worse then I'll just if, if it's going to be really bad then I'll just not take vacation at all I'll work the entire time <sighs> this sucks this really sucks I'm really really upset at myself there this dog is I've had 
other pets that have passed and I have current pets and I love them all. I love them with my heart. If anybody did anything to my animals, I could put a freaking gun to your forehead and not even think of twice about pulling it. I just, they are the best. Pixie is my first special needs one. Um, she, now she has made me have a fetish for little deformed chihuahuas. <laughs> she was born with a deformed back leg, which ultimately was amputated because it didn't do anything and it was just making things harder for her to walk. She couldn't even walk on it, but her other back leg, she had to, uh, don't get over, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Fuck. Now, what's up with people lately and driving? But anyways, she, um, she's my baby girl. She's my little love. I always say that she has to live forever. We have to go together. So, um, the thought that I could even hurt her just, like, kills me because if anybody else hurt her, I would fucking kill them. And then the thought that I could have hurt her and I've caused her pain, and I know I didn't do it on purpose, but, you know, just kills me. I'm trying not to cry. Trying not to cry. So, anywho, I'm um, on my way to the vet. And, uh, I will have some news shortly on what's going on with her. And hopefully, God, people do not know how to drive. They just, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Uh, hopefully, um, it's just bruising and I didn't break anything. Not booty. Alright guys, uh, I will add to this video, obviously, so when I come back, I will be telling you what the diagnosis is. Okay, so good news, little pixie doesn't have anything broken. Why are you looking at me, dude? You're freaking me out. Some people are so creepy. Don't be so creepy, people. Well, that would be great, babe. Um, so, they're thinking that she's just bruised. And uh, if she is not better by Monday, then I should bring her back. So, in a week, if she's not better, I need to bring her back. So, uh, I have some anti-inflammatory stuff at the house that I can give her that will help. So, um, yeah. So, good news. And I will tell you, my vet is awesome. I was like, I have X amount of money to spend on this. Otherwise, you guys are going to have to do a payment plan on me. The X amount of money was, you know, whatever. It's not like, it's a couple hundred bucks. Uh, and uh, because normally I, I couldn't get an appointment because they were all booked up. So I kind of went in as a walk-in, which they consider like an emergency appointment, which ends up costing like $98 when normally the... Uh, appointment is 58 so when I wanted to go pay he was like uh yeah there you go and uh she told me she's like it'll be 58 bucks and I was like what so I I felt that was super nice of him just to charge me a regular fee then uh the then the emergency one so that was very nice of him I appreciate that they're great. I've been going to them ever since I moved to Atlanta. I actually tried, I think I tried one other vet and I just, I, nah, you know, when you just 
feel like somebody's bullshitting you on so many different levels. Yeah. So, anywho. Uh, so I'm really happy I found them. They are awesome. So, if you're in the Atlanta area and you want to know of an awesome, awesome, awesome vet, let me know. Okay? Shoot me a message and I'll let you know. But anywho, now I'm going to go home. I'm going to eat some lunch, and I'm going to edit. So hopefully you will be seeing this. Yeah. You know, because I got a shit ton to edit. And, uh, but at least these are, uh, short. You know, I have more, um, hard times doing the damn thumbnails than I do editing the freaking videos. But as I keep doing them, it's getting easier. But anywho, thanks for watching. Click subscribe. Today wasn't that big of a rant. Um, I just was freaked out. I was trying not to bawl because the thought, like I said earlier, about hurting my dog is just not fathomable to me. So, anywho, she's not hurt. Things are okay. We're good. I think she's just really milking it hard to get lots of loves and kisses where she always does. Anywho, I appreciate y'all. Comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit the little bell so you know when I upload because God knows when I upload. Woo! Alrighty.